Hi everyone, so today it's a new video. My lovely girlfriend is going guys. to help me out. Uh, we're going to skin, she's going to skin <laughs> this part, this lamp uh, with carbon fiber. And uh, she will be doing it just to show you how easy it is. It just takes a lot of time sanding. It's quite easy to do. So this is perfect to do car parts um, and so on. So we'll start with dismantling this lamp, showing you how to skin everything. And this will be everything for this tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone and thanks for joining me on my newest adventure where I'll be explaining you how to skin this part. So just like I said in the introduction, my girlfriend is going to help me out just to show you how easy it is and um, how you can get good parts. So you can do this for your motorcycle, car parts and so on. A friend of mine passing by while I was working on it uh, was just telling me how much is, it was looking like his front light of his uh, motorcycle and so on so would be perfect for this so just keep in mind it will take you some time it's a lot of sanding and so on but it's quite fun to do and it doesn't takes a lot of um, infrastructure to make it so I mean not a lot of machines it's just some uh, hand labor and some basic materials so just keep in mind as well so the uh, carbon fiber and epoxy resin will add some extra weight so you won't get lighter parts but you will get a bit more stiffer parts and you get the good looks of carbon fiber so that's what we that's what we are doing it for i guess so uh, here my girlfriend is taping off the edges of the lamp uh, just to prevent epoxy resin going in or sticking to the part so the good thing is this electrical tape so the green tape is self-releasing from epoxy resin so this is why I'm using it so now uh, for the choice the choice of carbon fiber so this is a 650 gram square meter 12k carbon fiber from easy composites so um, this is my favorite carbon fiber to skin with because it's quite heavy and it doesn't phrase that much so you, it has some margin and errors so the step here I'm doing is I'm taping off the edge just to have a nice cut um, it's also it's also easier easier to store uh, the roll of carbon fiber at the end when it's all clean and so on so the next step is cleaning the part now so um, you just sand it with some scotch brite or sandpaper let's say 120 or 80 or something like this just to have um, a surface where the epoxy resin will be able to bond on so an important step as well is just to degrease the parts uh, to have a clean surface uh, where you will be working on so here is a square of carbon fiber and we will do a test fit on top of the parts so the piece is way too large at the moment but we'll fix it on it on the part at the end so I'm using the fusion fix uh, it's from easy composites as well um, it's perfect for resin infusions uh, skinning parts um, maybe even a wet layup uh, every everywhere you need to fix something so make sure you do not use it on the mold sides because it might give you some marks uh, you have some other products on the market as well like Irofix and so on they all work mostly um, the same the good thing is here uh, I'm sure I'm sure it works with the epoxy resins from easy composites as well so that's why I'm using it here uh, but it's just a matter of trial and error so here I'm just cutting um, a rough cut around the parts and now I'm using so my girlfriend is using the <laughs> the fusion fix and she's using way more than I would but it just turned out um, to work perfectly so I would have used a bit less of, of the spray um, so now it's just a matter of precision you just recenter the piece so it still have a bit of its shape uh, into the into the weave and you just push it from the middle out to the outside and make sure you get everything tightly against the part so this is quite an easy part to do if you have more complex pieces the spray will be very useful just to keep everything in place 
So make sure you have all your edges uh, tightly and you have no bridging. So bridging means that you would have um, the weave uh, in between two two tops. So you have a gap in the, in the part and you just lay it over so you don't have a tight fit against the part. So the next step is just taping off all the excess onto the inside to have a nice edge uh, on the side. So make sure you don't have tape on the outside because if you're using the epoxy resin on top it, it will soak into the, into the tape and it will be visible at the end. So here is a good illustration about how much I love uh, twill weave carbon fiber. So, or even fiberglass or, or whatever. So the twill weave makes it possible to get the fabric around complex pieces like um, this curved headlight. <laughs> and here she was just laughing just to explain you why. It's because it was quite a tight fit um, with the carbon fiber onto the, the bracket. So here I've included this shot into the video just to illustrate you that if you're missing um, a part with the spray you can just reposition it and put it into the good spot where it needs to be. So here I'm um, using carbon fiber on both edges of, of that bracket just to have like a visual full carbon fiber looking piece uh, at the end you will be able to trim it off so here I'll be using the laminating epoxy from Easy Composites with the fast hardener because for this you have enough time to do it if you want to take more time they also have a slow hardener so the mixing ratios are 100 of A and then you add 30 of B so uh, it makes a total of 130 grams in total so this is how I calculate all my uh, my measurements and so on so you divide every part by two you get a result in this case it's 65 and if you you just want to control if everything is okay you just multiply 65 by two and you get 130 so that was about me teaching you math so it's just quite easy to do um, then a good thing is to put all the parts onto cups or something elevated because the resin will be dripping off the parts. So um, if you have it onto a piece of cardboard, your cardboard would stick to your parts with the epoxy and it would be a bit mess. So that's also why I'm using some scrap paper under the pieces as well. So here she's just mixing the 50 and 50 no yes and 15 equals to 65 you just add like it's a heavy coat on, on the first one but because the, the carbon fiber will soak up a lot of epoxy at the first layer um, but do not overload it. it makes no sense just to have it all dripping off uh, you just need a good coat and then you'll be able to do a first sanding so I do it after the first layer, some people prefer to do two layers. If you're doing two layers, make sure it's in between three or five hours and not leave it over 25 hours or you will have to sand it in between. So um, two layers are okay as well. So um, here what I'm trying to illustrate are the low spots. So the low spots are the pieces that hasn't been sanded uh, because they are laying lower than all the rest. So, makes sense. <laughs> and if you would be sanding all the way through to have no low spots, you would be sanding through your fibers and that's what, which, what would, you would like to prevent. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get through my words. So, um, here I'm using some scotch brights just to get into the little holes. Um, so the scotch bright won't flatten the piece but it will sand in between those little pinholes just to have a nice grip so the next thing is just to clean the parts uh, you can use some degreaser um, and just add an extra coat so um, this is after the second coat so uh, getting closer and closer it's still three layers of resin to go so um, this is uh, the part sanded and then a new layer on top and you just keep repeating this step till you have no more low spots or not much 
depends on how much time you want to put in it some people are happy after two layers I did five layers in total um, so it's it's up to you so this is what it looks like so I call this like it's a fishy effect so it's like like a dry fish or, or something like this like it still has some rimples and, and so on uh, not pretty happy with the results but it's what you you just send it and add more layers what I'm trying to show you here is I have an extra mold to the side it's a silicon mold uh, from the silicon skull I did a video about making the mold and when I have some resin leftovers I just pour it in to that mold instead of having a hard bottom of a cup so what would you guys prefer having a skeleton or just a little piece of plastic at the bottom of a cup yeah so um, easy decision at least for me so here I'm just sanding again uh, sanding all the the drips of that headlamp um, just to have like a clean surface to do the last layer of epoxy resin so this was the last layer so um, it's still not perfect but you just want to prevent to have the low spots because the last sanding will flatten everything out so here I'm trimming off the edges of um, of that bracket so uh, I'm doing this with a Dremel and the Carbide uh, rotary tool uh, you can find it on Easy Composites or other websites um, I just like that carbide um, wheel I've been using it for over a year and still cuts perfectly so um, sometimes it's cheaper to invest a bit of money into a good piece instead of having to change your rotary tools every two or three weeks so here I'm making a sanding block so um, you just take a piece of wood uh, double sided tape and just add a 60 grit uh, sanding paper and just sand off all the the excess and now it's time to drill the holes uh, back out so I'm just using a normal um, it's it's a basic drill so nothing special uh, carbon fiber will dull your um, your drills so uh, keep that in mind but I'm doing a, lo a long time with them so this is the last layer of sanding I did it till a 2000 grit so that's quite high and it takes a lot of time but you're all doing it for results and you'll see the shine popping out of your part if you're going high in grit and just do a nice polishing job so um, I'm starting I've started with the coarse grit and go up with the fine um, fine and smooth uh, polishing compounds just to get that high, high shine that I wanted out of these pieces so this is quite a good reflection um, and at the end it's just assembling everything together uh, my girlfriend did a good job packaging everything up into one box having everything labeled so it makes it a lot easier to reassemble some some complex parts sometimes so this is just basically putting everything back together uh, doing a last um, cleanup and I'll just let you enjoy the shots of the finished parts. I hope you liked this video. I have some more videos coming up later. Um, I have another skinning video about the Iron Man mask. Check it out if you're interested. And see you in the next one. If you like my videos and want to see more, please subscribe. You can just click on the YouTube icon. And also check out my Facebook page. Um, during the projects, I mostly post some pictures in between. So if you can't wait for the next tutorials and so on, just give my page a like.